Welcome. In this lecture, we'll begin our exploration of graphs, and we'll do it with linear algebra in mind. The main concepts for this lecture are graphs, which you may know from other courses, are composed of vertices and edges. We'll go through some of the basic definitions that we require for graphs. We'll represent an adjacency matrix for a graph, and we'll discover that it's a symmetric and matrix that has binary entries. As we go through this lecture, let's think about the problem of how to represent a general graph as a matrix. An example is in London, England, they have a very famous, very old um, underground trails, uh, rail system that's often referred to as the tube. And the map of this is widely known. This is an example of part of the downtown map for the London Underground. Here, the circles represent stations, and for us, those are vertices in a graph. And the colored lines represent physical rails that trains run along, and those will be edges in our graph. Here you can see that this is pictorial, it's figurative, and it's not literal. That is, we don't have these exact 90-degree turns in the real London Underground. So now, what is a graph for our purposes? Well, it's a mathematical structure, and it has a set of non-empty vertices. We're going to require that these be finite, and we'll write these as the symbol V, and then we'll subscript them as needed with an integer. A set of edges is, in our case, will be a set of vertices. There will be two vertices, so an edge will connect two of these vertices. We'll write this as the letter E and we'll subscript it with an integer. And here, let's observe that this doesn't have a direction. That is, we could write an edge as IJ or we could write the edge as JI. It's still the same edge. We're also going to require that there be no repetitions. So if a pair IJ appears once in a list of edges, it can't appear again. We'll write a graph as the symbol G, and we'll refer to it as having vertices and as having edges. So one example is our set of vertices may be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then our graph would be the pair 1 is connected to 2, 1 is connected to 3, 2 is connected to 3, and 4 is connected to 5. 